What is up, everybody? My name is Adam. Some of you know me as Headhunter, MK118, and the Voice of Gaming. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day or night. Today, I'm going to ask you guys with another tutorial for the Xbox One Space Engineers Edition. However, uh, anything that I teach here can be transferred over to PC players as well. It's all the same. Uh, it's all the same. It's just different controls for Xbox and play, uh, PC, of course. But uh, yeah, today, I'm going to teach you guys how to create some awesome space battles uh, if you're just in a, in a world uh, alone by yourself and you just want to play with your ships. I'm going to teach you how to create some awesome space battles and I'm also going to teach you um, how to access experimental mode and what experimental mode is is it doubles your PCU count uh, so it doesn't change the amount of blocks you can spawn in. Uh, 50,000 uh, blocks uh, is the max you can't change that but the default PCU count is 100,000 and uh, even though you can spawn in a lot with that, if you want to double that, then there's experimental mode. And it's called experimental mode because it's still kind of a work in progress. It really doesn't make too much of a difference, and it's a great way to double your budget. So you can spawn in more ships, you can spawn in more space stations, so you can have more freedom with how you set up your world and your server. So I'm going to teach you how to do that right now, and then I'll jump into teaching you how to create some awesome space battles and some other cool things you'll uh, need to learn. So uh, stick around. This is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial. I don't want it to go on too long, but uh, yeah, let's do it. So here we are in the main menu of Space Engineers on Xbox. Now what you need to do to access experimental mode, and I didn't know this for a long time, so I'm happy to share my knowledge with you guys. Uh, and special thanks to my friend who uh, who finally told me what I need to do because it was one of those one of those things I, I didn't know what it was how to access it because I tried doing it in advanced settings and it's literally just this simple. So all you got to do down is go down to options, go down to game, and then you'll see all of these options here and it's literally just right there. Experimental mode, click on it. It says experimental mode enables features which can make the game run poorly or to stabilize it. We do not provide support for experimental mode. Only experienced players should enable experimental mode. Are you sure you wish to continue? Absolutely. Yes, I want to double my budget for spawning in ships and things like that. So we're going to click yes and then make sure that you press X to OK it or else it won't save. And now you're good. And now I'm going to load up a world that I'm going to be using as an example. It uh, will also be a way for me to show off some of my awesome Star Trek builds as well as some of the other things I've built. And I'm going to explain how to create some awesome space battles for you to enjoy by yourself or with friends in your worlds. But this is mainly for people who are like me and who spend a lot of time building their ships and stuff like that and want to actually play with them. Because when I first created my Enterprise, my TOS Enterprise, all I did was fly into asteroids for hours. And that was so much fun because normally I build Star Trek ships in Minecraft and Halo Forge mode. I've even built an Enterprise in Fortnite. And they're just static objects. They just stay there. There's nothing I can do about that. So I'm going to teach you guys how to create some awesome space battles. Now, the first thing I want you to know is that there's three different settings. There's neutral settings. So here we have the third ship I ever created, the Star Voyager, a design I'm very proud of. Uh, and I set this as a neutral ship. Um, because to create space battles, you have to have your, your ships, there are two ways to do it, but the main way is to have your ships set up as, uh, your personal ship, like the USS Enterprise and the Enterprise D, which I am working on the sauces section. If you love Star Trek, you gotta check out my Star Trek builds and the other Star Trek builds in the, uh, Xbox Space Engineers community, because they're truly, uh, astonishing thing. I'm very proud of the Enterprise D, but nonetheless, so, uh, that, so see how these are set as like my, you know, they're they're under my ownership, and then that is set as set as a neutral. So the best way to create space battles is to for me to highlight one of the ships, and I'll show you in a second. But yeah, because the Star Voyager is set on neutral, it, it is a neutral. Nobody owns a ship. It's white. You know, you can tell that by the antenna, and it helps to have antennas or a satellite hooked up to your, uh, preferably an antenna uh, hooked up to your ship so you can, you know, see if it's, you know, set as a friendly ship or if it's set as a neutral ship. But yeah, um, so I'm going to go over to here to the Enterprise. Now you can see that the uh, both Enterprises, the original Enterprise and the uh, Enterprise D are weaponized, both very uh, awesome, authentic extremely accurate recreations I'm very proud of uh, I take pride in my work and my builds but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're going to hop into the Enterprise we're not even gonna actually pilot it 
and we're, I'm just going to go now what I just did is I pressed LB RB and select at the same time and this pulls up the piece menu and now you may have already done this if you played the game enough and you may uh, you may you know do it to change your you know names for the pieces or you know name your antenna so you can you know have your ship named but what you probably didn't know is that if you hold LB and you scroll up or down you can select all of these pieces now you can see on the right of the screen it says owner me transfer to and that's what we're going to be doing after we're done highlighting all of the blocks on the enterprise so once that little task is done now it takes a little bit longer you might not want to select everything uh, and you don't even need to select everything uh, because the ship will stop getting fired at by your your own ships uh, when everything is destroyed so enterprise is literally going to get shot at until it's absolutely obliterated but that's fine so we're going to transfer the ownership to any any identity that isn't a nobody or your ownership will have the weapons targeted so we're going to do space pirates since everyone knows that the space pirates are the AI that spawn in the game you can't really do much about it so here we go and you can see that since the enterprise d is set as a ship owned by me the host of the server it's just a blit it's attempting to bl obliterate the enterprise the, uh, the Enterprise D has a lot of uh, small uh, interior turrets for the uh, phaser ships. Uh, if you don't understand Trek Talks, it has a lot of, it's, it's, I'm just saying it has a lot of weaponry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and now you can see that the ships are fighting uh, each other back and forth. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the knowledge and, and from what I've researched, not many people in the space engineers uh, community know how to do it either to actually make uh, an enemy ship that you set as a hostile ship um, move by itself I wish I, I would love to have you know have it where the Enterprise could move by itself and you know maneuver itself because uh, because the space the space uh, AI in the game can they can maneuver their own vehicles and ships and they can fire their own weapons so we have the firing weapons uh, but this is just a great way you can uh, create some awesome space battles and it's that simple all you have to do is select the blocks you want to transfer ownership to and then you can have these ships duel it and then uh, if you uh, as long as you don't you know uh, transfer ownership of the uh, the control station you know the pilot seat uh, for that ship I, I did for Enterprise right there I could still fly it and maneuver it and kind of like do that uh, but this is just a great simple way that you can create some awesome awesome space battles for you to enjoy your ships with and truly test how powerful they are test their firepower see them kick each other's butts i just i just get such joy out of doing this and i do this all the time and i wanted to share this with you you can see that that one turret on the uh, enterprises nacelle is, uh, is targeting me because once again i'm a hostile now you can see that the star voyager all the way over here isn't getting targeted because it's a neutral ship and now another way it's a more complex way but another way you can make space battles happen is if you um have uh set up like your weapons so you have to do weapon specific but if you set up uh, a missile turret for example and go through the settings and have it uh and select uh, instead of selecting shoot on and off or something have it uh select uh target neutrals then you can have it like that but this is the easiest way the best way to have fun with your ships that you create and do awesome space battles and i also taught you how to do experimental mode too so you can double your budget for the things you can spawn in it's a little bit more laggy depending on how much chaos you've got but it's such a great time i'm going to spawn in a, a few more of my uh things just to make a little bit more of an epic battle but hopefully this tutorial is helpful to you uh, and if you love the uh, Enterprise D and the Star Trek TOS Enterprise that you see right there, those were created by me. Very proud of them. And I've done all of these, pretty much everything here is, is my creation, aside from one or two builds. I'm going to spawn in one of my defense platforms. It's just a little weaponized platform I built. Really nice aesthetic piece. And the second I spawn this in, it will start getting targeted. You'll see it start instantly start shooting the Enterprise because, once again, I spawned this in as a friendly owned by me and, and and the enterprise is shooting hit so it's it's so simple and i if you didn't know that then you know hopefully uh you can have some awesome space battles too and enjoy space engineers to the absolute fullest if you have any questions please feel free to ask me uh i'm always happy to help uh any, anyone with uh you know space engineers uh i can't believe all the views my original tutorials gotten that's why i wanted to do this one a little bit more simple straightforward hopefully it wasn't too long but uh yeah thank you so much for watching if you're new please think of liking and subscribing for live 1080p gaming voice 
voice acting and covers. I'm going to be doing lots of Halo Infinite in the future when Halo Infinite becomes, uh, you know, available, the beta, or the actual game itself. But, uh, so if you like Halo as well, I mean, my YouTube channel is originally a Halo channel. But, yeah, I just wanted to do this little video because my Space Engineers uh, Xbox One tutorial is blowing up. And I really wanted to teach you guys how to how to make some awesome space battles for yourself. Uh, and once again, just enjoy your ships to the fullest and the game to the fullest. The Space Engineers community is once again just an absolutely awesome. It's, it's, it's one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. And I love helping people. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And I will do my best to help you. But anyway, I don't want to make this one on too, uh, too long. Think of subscribing uh, if you're new. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.